welcome back to lima bean living in today's video we are getting it all done this first little segment is me washing our chickens eggs this actually happened on a different day than the other segments that you guys will see but i wanted to include it here because it is something that i had been meaning on doing usually whenever we collect at least a dozen eggs from our chickens they're usually on the counter and then before they go in the fridge i wash them off by first soaking them in some warm water then i give any eggs that that like definitely are invisible need of a scrub a little scrub with our kitchen brush and then rinse them in warm water as well you guys will get to see these eggs like dry it's kind of fun to see it all sped up and then I you know dry finish drying any little bits and store them away now we soak the eggs in warm water because if we soak them in cold water, apparently the pores of the eggshell will open up, allowing any bacteria to get actually into the egg. So by soaking them in warm water, it still protects the egg from any bacteria that's on the shell. And then we are able to wash it away so that when we do crack the egg, we don't actually also consume that unneeded and unwanted bacteria. Next, we are moving on to making the cream cheese frosting for the carrot cake that I made in my previous video. I am making a double batch here, and this ended up being more than enough for a two layer, nine inch round cake, as well as 24 cupcakes and I think almost 24 mini cupcakes. I ended up using up my imitation vanilla and so I was thankful that my brother made some like real vanilla extract as part of a Christmas gift last year and so I was able to break into that. Apparently it's like extra strong so you, you don't have to use as much when you make it yourself. Which if you haven't made it, and I haven't either, but apparently you just soak vanilla beans in vodka and then after a few months I think it's you know vanilla extract. So now that the frosting is done, I'm gonna trim down this little cake board so that it will fit in my cake carrier because I will be bringing this birthday cake to my parents' house for my brother's birthday. And then we are just gonna do the crumb coat for the round cake right now before moving on to decorating the cupcakes. And then we will get back to actually fully decorating this cake. And if you're wondering why my cake was so stiff, it is because I took it out of the freezer. I mentioned this in my last video that pretty much with any cake, you can make it like even weeks ahead and freeze it. And it makes decorating a lot easier as well as like it traps in a lot of the moisture when you do freeze the cake layers. So honestly, you could bake like a quadruple batch of cake and freeze everything and then just take it out as you need it. If you have like a bunch of birthdays coming up and you just wanna like bake one day, that would save you a whole bunch of time. They're good in the freezer, probably for at least a few months, honestly. And then you only have to really bake once and just do one big batch. But that's just my little tip for the day. <laughs> Let's get back to frosting this cake.
So we're gonna go ahead and put this cake in the freezer just to chill while I work on the cupcakes. And what I'm doing right here is I'm actually putting the frosting in saran wrap and rolling it up. This makes it a lot easier for me at least to put it into a piping bag. And then when I'm done with the frosting, just insert another little tube of frosting. It just makes it a lot easier than like trying to scoop in more frosting to an already dirty bag. So I have a little question for you. Some of the YouTube videos that I like to watch, they have everything almost in like real time. And I kind of find things like piping frosting, for example, you know, I like to see it in real time just for a little bit because I want to know kind of what to expect if I do it myself, but I don't want to watch in real time like for the entire 24 cupcakes. Tell me what you guys think. I typically kind of show you real time at first and then speed things up. Do you enjoy that? Would you rather see like two minutes of just me frosting cupcakes? Let me know down below in the comments. I think the way that I do it is how most people prefer, but hey, if I'm wrong, I am very willing to change how I edit things. Okay, so we are moving on to fully decorating the birthday cake now that the cupcakes are done. I'm doing a very thick layer on the outside because I'm gonna be using the scraper, as you guys see, to scrape off and make a design on the side of the cake. I have a variety of these scrapers, but for some reason this little kind of, I'm gonna call it a bubble one, caught my eye. I really like how simple it looks, but it still adds to the cake. And then we're using the same piping tip that I used for the cupcakes to create a little border design for the top of the cake. Looking back, I kind of feel like I should have done this last only because the next step is I will be hand piping the phrase happy birthday on the cake. And I had to undo it and redo it like a number of times by wiping the frosting like off on the top, as you guys will see. And if I didn't have this border in the way, cleaning up my mess would have been a little bit easier. Now I wanted to avoid that mess by first using a toothpick and kind of scraping out, like mapping out my letters of where they would be. But for some reason, whenever I started piping, the letters just got too big and I ran out of room. And then the next time I didn't like how it looked, I ended up settling, you know, and, and just saying, you know what, like this last one is, is good enough and I let it be. <laughs> and I'm showing you guys in real time how long it took me to pipe happy birthday. And looking back with how many times I had to redo this, I'm really glad I didn't decide to like color the frosting something different. I thought white on white would still look elegant and it's for my older brother. Like we don't need something super colorful or anything like that. And had I done a different color, it really would have been like a hit or miss with the top or I would have had to like scrape everything off and it would have been so much more stressful. So it was a good first attempt at piping happy birthday. Everyone was really impressed by it. They said it looked pretty professional, so I was happy with it and it tasted great.
We're going to wrap up the getting it all done with me giving Jack a little haircut. I decided to let his, like the top of his head be a little bit longer than what we're used to while still giving the sides like a closer trim. Now he was not having it on this day. And honestly, I don't know if really putting like a little show in front of him would have helped. He really doesn't care for TV much, so I just had to do the best I could while trying to keep him happy. Obviously, he's a happy after the fact. And then, since he was still hairy and needed a bath, I figured, you know what, let's just play outside and let him roam. Any little pieces of hair can float off of him, and then we'll clean him up in a little bit. But I love watching the kids play in our backyard. He was intrigued by our neighbor's dogs. He loves his little lawn mower that Juan gave him. And he just loves really pushing anything around. He will turn anything into a walker, even though he doesn't need it to walk. But anyways, I am just gonna wrap up this video by thanking you guys again for watching today's video, supporting my channel, sending me prayers regarding everything that I'm going through. If you guys are watching this on Monday, then please pray for me because tomorrow, Tuesday, I will have to be getting my DNC procedure because I just did not miscarry this child on my own. My body didn't recognize it. And so it's gonna be a tough day, but thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support and I will catch you guys in the next one. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.